Hey developers, do you want to create your first Vue.js app? Do you want to see some basics on how to get started? Let's go ahead and create a to-do app together using local storage. Stay all the way to the end and find out how. Let's begin. All right, I am inside my application here. And what I did to start off with is I am using the to-do MVC template that you can get off at todomvc.com. So you can download it and you can see it has a bunch of HTML, CSS that you kind of start with. So here is the just plain old HTML. We have a head here. We have a couple of style sheets. Um, I'll include this in the description below on my GitHub on how it's done. So this is all the basic stuff that comes with the to do MVC. So I'm not going to show you exactly everything with this, but if you're interested, you can check out the code. Uh, in my main.js is where I'm going to put the view code in. And then index.html is, of course, where the HTML and CSS is. And then I also have another base CSS style sheet. And it's pretty simple HTML here. Uh, inside my body, I have this section called to do app. And then I have a header. And then inside the header, I have a placeholder for what needs to be done. You can see here. And that's this right here, which I'll make it a little bit bigger. And this is where you put the to do in. And then when you hit enter, it should list the to do at the bottom. And then here uh, inside my main, this is where I'm going to list all the to do's. And we're going to put a bunch of different logic in here. So for first, let's go ahead and let's change this input here. So we have a class, we have a placeholder. We have autofocus. So instead of having this class here, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and add a V model. And if you don't know, V model is the way we can bind data to our template using Vue.js. We're gonna have we're gonna just call that new to do. And then we're gonna have a V on, which this is how we bind events to our input. So V on, and we'll do key up dot enter and we'll call it add to do. So we just want to start off something really basic to see if we can get these to work. So we're going to go back to our, we're going to refresh it here. I'm going to open up the inspector to make sure we don't have any errors. It says our new to do is not defined, so we need to define it. So we'll go to our main.js and we'll just call this new to do and we'll just leave it blank for now. So it's okay now. So what we're doing here to start a new view application, we're doing we're creating a new view instance where we type new view, and then this el is the entry point of the app for view. So I, it's the same syntax you have for CSS. So we're looking for a class named to do app, and you can see here the section here called to do app. This is where we can insert our our data in from view. And then we use this data method or data function. And from that data function, we can return data. So we're returning just new to do, which is empty. Which, so this, uh, by convention, by default, Vue.js has two-way data binding. So this will be bound to, this to do is bound to new to do. And we can see that if we go into view here, we can see here, our data, new to do, this to do. Uh, let's see if you can see it here, right here. It's probably hard to see on the screen, but you can see the data, new to do, this to do. Um, so that we, we know that it's being bound. Okay, so we know we have that in there, but we ha we need to see, we need to add a method. So let's go ahead and add a method. So to do that in view, we just put a comma here. We'll type in methods. And methods is this object here. And then inside this methods, we can go ahead and add in the name of our method that we had. And the way we did that is we use this v on. And this is kind of shorthand. We can say key up dot enter. So it's going to look for any kind of actions for our key up. So if we go back to methods here, we can, in the name of the method, we're calling it as add to do. So let's just see if it works. And by the way, I'm using ES, ES6 syntax here. 
Uh, I'm using Chrome, it actually supports it, but normally if I was using this in production, I might use something like Babel to transpile it, but not to confuse the issue, this will work fine for us. So let's just do an alert box, hello. And so we refresh it, if we type in anything, we see hello, so we know it's working. So we can also do this dot new to do, and this is how you access our data that we set. So if we do this, refresh it, this is a to do. You see in the alert box, this is a to do. So we definitely know that we're getting the information that we need. So we, we have a way to take information and save it, but we need to save it inside. Uh, the next step, step we need to do is take the information and save it somewhere. So that's where, but first we're just gonna save it to the local memory and then later we're gonna add local storage in. So let's create a new list here. So we'll go ahead and we'll add it to, we're gonna add something called to-dos and each to-do is gonna have an ID and then it's going to have a title, new to-do, and then it's gonna have a completed. And that'll tell it if it's completed or not. So that's just one way of doing it here. And we're going to go back to our index.html. Let's see if we can just display that information inside everything. So to do that, we're going to look here. And here's our main. And we have mark all as completed. We don't really have anything there, but we can go ahead and we'll create a UL class equals to do list. And inside that to do list, we're going to have an LI. And this is we're going to use something called the v4 directive. And we're going to do to do in to do what we called it. Uh, to do's and what this is saying is that for every single to do inside to do's we're gonna list it and so this is pretty easy we'll also have a class here equal to do and then we'll add a few more things here in a second, but for now let's do div class equals view. And inside this view, we're going to display our to-do information. So we're just gonna make it an input box with class equals toggle, because we wanna be able to toggle it later on. We're gonna have a checkbox here. And vmodel will equal to do dot completed. And then we'll create a label and we'll call it, uh, for now, we're just going to put in the title to do dot title. And we're gonna have the last button. We're going to have it destroy and for now it's not gonna do anything, but we'll add something else in there later. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so we have a list here. We actually don't see anything right now, but we're getting a little bit closer. Let's go into the console. So we see three boxes, with nothing in them. So let's take a look what we did. Let's make this an array. That makes more sense. All right, so here's our first new to do. Doesn't really do anything, but we could see at least that we're getting a one step a little bit closer. So we can do something here with our add to do. So we can, instead of just doing a, instead of just, uh, 
displaying an alert box, we can go ahead and do something with to do. So we can do this dot to do's dot push. And we're going to push a new object, which if we look back at our new to do list, we know that we have, uh, we just have the title. So, you know, the title equals this dot new to do. We still need to take in, uh, we know that completed is false. As for the ID, I'm just going to hard code it for one for right now, but we can deal with that later. So I'm going to refresh it. Let's see if does this work. All right, so now we have both our to dos here and we can go ahead and add them in there, which is good news. We don't have any way to delete it yet, but we can at least add it. Now, as for the ID, we could keep track of the ID by looking at the length and adding one to it. So if we could do something like this, this dot to do dot length, there it is. So yeah, we just ink put the length in there and then we can just increment the ID each time. So that's one way of doing it. Uh, of course, there's a few other things we probably want to clear the input of to do. So we can just do new to do. We can use this dot new to do equals blank. So after we add something in there, it just disappears. So which is good. Uh, so let's try to add one thing in here. Let's see if we can delete it. So we have this button called button class equals destroy, which is fine. So we can do another V on and that'll be bound to the click event. And then we'll call it remove to do and then we'll pass in to do to it. And by the way, there's a shorthand for this V on instead of doing V dash on, we can do at sign. So we, that, that'll work too. That's the same thing as doing V dash on. So let's add a new method called remove to do's. If we go back to our main JS file, we'll call it move to do, remove to do, and we'll pass in the to do. And the simplest way you can do this is we can do a, this. Now I think we can actually use splice might be easier to do this. Uh, yeah, so this dot splice, this dot to do dot splice to do's dot splice, this dot to do's dot index of to do comma one. So what this is saying is look at this dot to do's, which is our array of to do's find the index of the to-do that we're passing in and then splice it. So take it out. So let's see if that works. So we're going to add to-do1, to-do2, to-do3. So if I click on that one, it deletes it, deletes it. We'll fix uh, some of this question mark here in a second. But So that's it. All right, so we just went through how to create our app, to add a new to-do, to and delete an item off our to-do list. In the next video, we'll discuss how to add this into local storage. If you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button below. That really, really helps me out. And just to let you know view that Udemy is having a $10 sale this week. If you're going back to school, please check it out. Pick up one of those courses. I have all the links below. Thanks.